guys, welcome to La Georgia Papery. My name is Lindsay, and I just posted a video about a haul that I did, including some stuff that I bought from Overstock.com. Well, I purposely left out one thing because I wanted to do a more in-depth review on it for you. Um, and obviously, this is it. It is the um, Your Pictured Memories ribbon purse. And it's really cool. I, I just got it yesterday and I'm really liking it so far, but there's some pluses and some minuses to it. And I thought I would go through it with you guys because it has gotten a lot of really good reviews on different websites, but I don't think really anyone's talked about it on YouTube that I could find anyways. So I thought I would delve into some uncharted waters on this one. But like I said, it's the Your Pictured Memories and Memories is M-E-M-O- R dash E Z. I think it's not spelled normal. Um, and it's the ribbon purse. I got it on overstock.com, but I've also seen it on scrapbook.com and I'm sure a lot of other places carry it as well, but it's just like your typical makeup bag that you would get, you know, at target or Walmart or wherever. But the neat thing about this is you can probably already tell it's got tons and tons and tons of little holes poked through the vinyl so that you can just pull your ribbon right through. And it said in the reviews, um, or like the product description, I mean, that there's 200 holes on this thing. So you could essentially put 200 different ribbons in here, which is kind of astounding. I don't have, obviously, as you can see, the ones that are sticking out just here on the bottom on the front. I don't have nearly 200 ribbons, but I do have really long ribbon. And so I think that might pose somewhat of a problem for me because there's no way I can get 10, 200 10 yard spools of ribbon in this little caddy thing. But I think it's more meant for like little scrapbooking ribbons that are really pretty and detailed and patterned, but a little bit more expensive and you get a lot less for your money. Like I said, I use a lot of those spooler ribbons that are 50 cents at, you know, Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, carries them, and you get 10 yards on one spool, which is a really great deal. But for this thing, you're not going to be able to fit 200 in them. But like I said, I don't have nearly 200 ribbons. So I was, was able to fit all of my ribbon in here. And I'll open it up and kind of show you what it looks like on the inside. Just a big mess. So I hope these don't get super tangled as I'm pulling them out. And I I used it a little bit last night and I just pulled a little bit out of each ribbon and it worked fine. I didn't come up with any tangles yet, but I imagine that I probably will at one point because like I said, I don't think it's meant to hold, you know, a big wad of one single ribbon, but oh well. All, like I said, all the reviews that I've read online are really positive and no one really mentioned tangling, but I think these people that are writing the reviews that are giving it such glowing reviews aren't using really long ribbons either. But that's what the inside of mine looks like for now. Uh, it does come with a, a pocket on the top. I put, um, this is a scrap piece of ribbon that I didn't want to just have floating around in there. Some, I don't know if you would call it like fibers or just whatever, but it's got stuff and it wouldn't pull through very well. And then my hemp. So there's that. And when you're doing it, um, when you're filling it, you do want to start from the bottom and go to the top, which makes it a lot easier. I had read that online, so that's what I did. And then I kind of went in like color order. I did all my like neutrals, like browns and grays and whites um, and black over on this side here. And then this ribbon, it's like the lone ribbon in like this middle portion. This one I couldn't really categorize into any single color and it was like the only one like that. So it's just kind of hanging out there by itself. Then I started with my reds and my pinks. Then I went, and I have a lot of those. Then I went over to my orange. I have a, just a few different oranges. Some yellow. And then I went into my greens and my blues. And then finally my purples over on this side. But I was just keeping my ribbon in a big container all on the spool and they were spilling out. I could not see half of the ribbons that I have. And like I said, like I don't have that many ribbons compared to a lot of people, but it was still really hard for me to find certain ribbons. So I was using the same ones over and over and over again and not really utilizing all the pretty ribbons that I've purchased. So this tool really is going to allow me to see every single ribbon that I have and use 
every single ribbon that I have so I don't just buy it and waste it. So that's the beauty of this thing. Um, you can definitely, you know, if you do have the big long spools of ribbon like I do, buy a couple of them. I think I paid like $16 for this on overstock.com. Um, they had a black one, which was like $20, uh, a green one, which was like 18 and then this purple one was like 16 so I like pur the purple the best and it was the cheapest so yeah I'm gonna go with this one but you know they do have other colors to fit your needs I know on overstock.com uh, I saw like pink and uh, blue maybe too but it like is a really really cool invention I don't know why these aren't more popular and that I never really heard about it before. I mean, apparently a lot of other people have heard about it, but I never had. And I've never seen it at a scrapbook, scrapbooking store or anything. But, uh, yeah, and, like, it's super easy to pull out, as you can see. I even put this really, really thick ribbon in here, this yellow one, and it still pulls out easily. It's not really creasing it very much, so it's definitely going to keep your ribbons nice and smooth. Like, the only thing is, like I said, the tangling that I'm possibly worried about, but I will get to that when I get to that, I guess, when I use more ribbon. But I'm just really excited that I'm going to be able to see my entire collection of ribbon and use my entire collection of ribbon. That's the biggest thing for me. You know, I was wondering, you know, should I get one of those dowel rod things? You know, I can put all the spools up on the wall. I really can't do that. Um, where I am currently, but, um, you know, maybe in the future I could do something like that because it does look really nice. And this is kind of goofy looking, I think, but, you know, it definitely does the job and I think it does it really well. So if you are, like me, looking for a new solution to store your ribbons, I really suggest the You Are Pictured Memories ribbon purse. And like I said, I bought it on overstock.com, but you could probably find it at many other online retailers and possibly um, some different scrapbooking stores. So if you have any questions on it, please feel free to let me know. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and if you would visit me over at lagiorgiapapery.com. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.